Today, you get to ask the questions. We have Brody Nash, a real estate agent from Century 21, to answer your questions. So thanks so much for taking the time and speaking with us today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, okay, so let's get to it. We've got a bunch of them. Our first question is from Barclay Riggs. She wants to know, is now the right time to put her house on the market? Uh, yeah, now's a great time to put your house on the market. Uh, typically around Valentine's Day, we see a lot of increase in uh, online activity. This year it was even greater because of, you know, everybody's at home and we had the weather event that kept a lot of people in. So we saw a, a huge increase in online activity. And then usually around March, middle of March, when uh, the weather starts to get better, people really go out and start viewing houses again. Uh, we see a lot of activity uh, even before spring. So there's an old adage of list your house in the spring, but our advice is don't wait till spring because you miss that first round of buyers that comes through. Oh. Um, that combined with historically low interest rates right now and also the lack of inventory makes it a really good time to list your house right now. Yep, so don't wait. Okay, so Lisa thornburg Herod wants to know what are the five major things that she needs to do to get her house ready to sell? Oh, five things. Okay. Um, so I would say number one is clean. Go through your house with a fresh set of eyes like you've never been in your house before and look for stuff that needs clean because we get blind to the stuff in our house. Um, then I would declutter. So go through and take out anything that looks like your family lives there. Buyers want to see themselves in a house, not your family in a house. So I know it's kind of hurts your heart sometimes to put away <laughs> Timmy's first grade report card or whatever but take the stuff off your fridge take the stuff off your uh, bulletin boards take your family pictures down and pack them away for the for the listing period mm -hmm. um, i would if you've got a honeydew list things that you have been meaning to do but haven't got to finish mm -hmm. that up uh, we call that deferred maintenance items buyers walk through a house they see um, you know light switch covers missing or a little tiny hole in the drywall or dirty spot on the carpet or anything like that it starts adding up in their mind and a lot of buyers don't have the skill set or they don't have the extra money after closing to fix those things. So the more of those things you can do before you lift your house, the better. Um, pricing it correctly is probably should have been number one on the list because uh, if you nothing can overcome a bad price, the no amount of marketing you do, uh, the, the best pictures, the virtual tour, the drone work, all that can't overcome the wrong price in our market, even though it is a hot market. Um, and to do that, you need to hire the right agent, which I'd say is the fifth thing. Um, hire a full-time agent, hire somebody who has experience in your market. Uh, we have a pretty wide market here. I'm licensed in all three states here, but I'm not gonna go to Louisa unless the house because it's not serving my client well, it's too far from me. So hire somebody that knows your market and can have experience or has, can show experience in selling in your market and in your price range. Um, when you interview that agent, make sure you get along with them it's somebody you trust you're not going to like every agent i don't get along with every client but i can you know it's just some people click some people don't um, pick, pick somebody who understands and uses technology appropriately and then check their reviews is something i would say so go online look at their what their past clients have to say about them yeah do your homework okay so you kind of touched on this one but hannah ann dixon and sarah cook bailey both want to know should you keep your house furnished while trying to sell it um if you've already moved um it, it depends so what i would say is look at your house and then rate it on a scale of one to ten so then ten what i would say is like it be HGTV photo shoot ready. <laughs> if your house looks like that, then sure, leave it furnished. If, if it's a one on that and it looks like a college dorm room, then no, <laughs> take your stuff. <laughs> um, we have things that can overcome that. We have uh, virtual staging, which is something I do on a lot of our listings. You can take a, an empty room. Uh, I have a service that I use and it can make it look whatever style you want it to look. You can look like a farmhouse. It can look like an Ikea showroom. So you don't have to use your own stuff for that we we have ways to to get around that to kind of stage it a little bit stuff. yeah okay and our last question is from erica bevins she wants to know should she get pre-approved for a mortgage loan before she even starts looking uh, that's a great question and that, that that doesn't really fit with the selling topic of today so i will i'm just going to answer it very briefly and we'll talk about it more in depth next time i'm on but uh, yes, you should. It doesn't hurt to, to look online before you're pre-approved, but 
you really don't want to go out and start looking at houses yet. And, and most agents will require you to have a pre-approval before they'll even show you a house. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, mainly it's because you don't want to fall in love with a house that's $250,000 and you can only afford a $150,000 house. You just end up wasting your time, wasting the seller's time. And uh, also it's disappointing to you if you, once you see that real nice house and you realize you can't afford it, then you don't want to start off with being disappointed with your home search. Yeah. So, uh, you know, for a more de in-depth answer to any of the these or that question, uh, you can find me on my Facebook page at BrodyNash.com uh, or any social media, really. And I'd be glad to go more in-depth or do a one-on-one. -on -one. Great advice. Brody Nash with Century 21. Thanks for talking with me today. Thanks for having me.